Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. So, it's the last day of February, and I'm just getting mid-February readings out. I know, I know, I'm sorry, life happened. Those of you who've been following the channel for a minute know that I have a full-time job that I'm very devoted to outside of this that actually pays my bills. And I'm a single mom, so that consumes a great deal of my time. Anywho... Taurus. The universe has decided that you are next. So I'm going to throw them down for you. Get this going. Oh, if you hear laughter in the background, it's my kid. I had to go get him from school because he fell ill in the middle of the day. So anywho, let's get her done. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, thanks for coming down and hanging out with me this afternoon. Please grant me the clarity of mind and the peace of heart to bring Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus to their highest good. Put them on their highest path. Thank you for blessing me. Please help me pass these blessings on to Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Want to show, want to go from the Wisdom Oracle? Milk and honey. Save that till the end. Milk and Honey, number 51. The taste of prosperity. Opportunities born of authenticity. Nurturing abundance. Trusting that your needs will be met. You've entered a very sweet time in your life, enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience. It's an interlude that feels more languid than ambitious. When all your senses are awake to the unlimited possibilities in the universe, these times are precious and it only come when you're in your authentic zone, wearing the world as a loose garment, not wanting yet able to be nourished in ways both tangible and subtle. Abundance is an energy that you are a living part of. All your needs are being met. You are given the gift of nourishment in every form. Okay. Taurus. I thought I had a flipper. Queen of Cups reversed. What? <coughs> hmm.
Paraffin reversed. Yeah, this is a breakup. Okay. Why is the Eight of Wands reversed here? Sometimes I just look back and forth at the cards and get the story right in my head before I speak, Taurus. Y'all broke up. I'm not asking yet. Two of Pentacles are reversed. Somebody couldn't make up their mind. Something was out of balance. Why is the Eight of Wands reversed here? So things stopped moving forward and communication may have stopped or both. Somebody can make up their mind. There could have been financial issues with this Ten of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Wands reversed. Maybe there was other issues in the relationship. This is the phallus of the tarot, by the way. I, I'm, I'm going to dance around it as much as I can. I try to keep this as family-friendly as possible, even though this is not for children. <sighs> there was issues. Somebody couldn't make up their mind as to whether to stay or go with this Two of Swords reversed. Somebody was very wishy-washy. This is a wishy-washy energy. Why is the Five of Wands here? There was conflict. That's why the Five of Wands is here. Why was there conflict? Talk to me about this Five of Wands. The Hermit. In the reverse. Mmm. I can tell why there was conflict. Somebody got a little bit too quiet and somebody got very demanding of the truth. Hermit reversed. Queen of Swords. And it, ultimately, the Queen of Swords expects the honesty that she gives. And she's probably the most honest one in the deck. Next to the king. Knight of Wands reversed. No action, no moving forward. Why is there a problem? I think the problem stemmed from somebody not talking. Four of Swords. Why is Four of Swords here? Knight of Swords. Page of Swords. Oh. Something being laid to rest. Contemplation, meditation, thinking things through. Possibly scrolling through, looking at somebody's social media, or they're checking out yours. Attempts at communication. King of Swords reversed. Might not be the politest of communication. Eight of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's just trying not to get into the cage of their own thoughts about the issue. She just popped out. Six of Wands, bottom of the deck. Empress reverse popped out. Landed on the floor. Must be important. Put that up there. The 
is a growth problem. Something isn't being nurtured. Or wasn't. In order for something to grow, it has to be properly nurtured. I feel like somebody wasn't all the way in this. Queen of Cups reversed at the bottom. With the Queen of Swords reversed. Wow. Dump goes the cup, down goes the sword. Hmm. I feel like with this... Somebody that was like purposely posting things for you to see, or you were purposely posting things for them to see, you were checking out each other's social media. It's like bugs and ears, bugs and ears. I don't know. Could be, could be not. If it's not your story, leave it on the table. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here? Why the Wheel of Fortune reversed? Is Pentacles reversed? Six of Wands reversed. Queen of Pentacles. Three of Swords reversed. Bottom of the deck. One more. I need a little more. Three of Swords reversed. There it goes. Eight of Wands reversed. Feels very humbling. Humbling. Four of Wands reversed, Death reversed, bottom of the deck. Humbling, a mission of guilt. Somebody's trying to stop an ending here. But they don't quite have the goods to do it. Ace of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Pentacles. Four of Wands reversed. Towers on the ground. There's no stable foundation. This is real shaky. Why is the Lovers reversed here? Moon reversed. No! Three of Pentacles reversed. I start all these decks out in the upright, by the way. As I shuffle them and I twist them and they fall and land, they're in whatever position they're in. Separation. I feel like eventually the conclusion is drawn that y'all just couldn't work together. World reversed. Tower reversed at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's still fighting it. Somebody doesn't want it to be over. Even though the fog is lifted. The carnival left town, took the fun house with it. There's no more smoke and mirrors. 
Somebody doesn't want this to end. I want to rebuild the tower. Tower's on the ground. One more. The sun. The sun. Eight of swords reversed. Happiness. Joy. Coming out of your head about it. Letting the sun shine in. Three eights, all in a row, all upside down. And the Knight of Cups reversed. Four of Swords reversed. Not taking or giving cups, not putting much thought into it, not putting work into it, not communicating with it, not moving it forward. But somebody's restless. Three of Cups reversed because you can't be friends. There's no new start. Because you got nine cups, you're happy. You're good. The tenth cup is coming on your terms, not anybody else's. Nine wands. Nine cups reversed. There's a mismatch here. Wow, Taurus, what's up with that? Higher power. <sighs> somebody has nine full cups and somebody has nine empty cups. They're not going to be able to make a relationship work. you got to be on the same level. Everybody's cups got to be full. you got to be able to function independently before you can function in a team Higher power, conscious contact with a higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for your life and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then get out of your own way and trust there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. Maybe you're the one who doesn't want something to end. Don't fight endings, guys. All right, Taurus, know that you're loved. Be blessed. Thanks for coming down. I will catch you guys next time around.